everybody. The next guest was a cast member on Saturday Night Live and the host of the Comedy Central show Tough Crowd with Colin Quinn. Please welcome our pal, Colin Quinn. I'm sensational. I never see someone bring their own drink on these shows. <laughs> There's a tradition that we supply you with. I was afraid that wouldn't be here. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. How are you? From stand up, you always bring your own drink. Because then it's right. not on stage. That's right. It's the old tradition. Your mouth gets tired. It's the old tradition. Yeah. We need a cup on stage in comedy. But I like it. That's back. classy. You walk out with a paper cup. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, everything well, good with you? Everything? Um, everything's sensational. I just got back from Reno. Yeah. <laughs> I, in the middle of my show, I fell off stage and hurt my feet. Is that You're true? You're lucky I'm walking today. Yeah, I fell what right happened? off the stage. What happened? How did you fall off the stage? I was on stage. I wasn't drunk. It was kind of a Kelsey Grouch. Wait a minute. Who said you were drunk? The no. crowd. <laughs> the crowd was thinking it. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that terrible, the way they treat the Irish? Ah, Colin yeah. Quinn. Colin Quinn is drunk. And Probably they drunk you. right now, yeah. Yeah, they think we're both drunk. Yeah. I what? think you're drinking before the show. <laughs> I am drunk right now, yeah, but I... I think uh, you get hammered for this show. Yeah, I do, I do. That's what helps. I saw you once with a few in you. What was that? Oh, at some party sometime a few years ago. Well, that's a great story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, folks. Oh, yeah. I like to have I an wish occasional... there was more, but that's the end of I it. I like the occasional drinky-winky, if you know oh, what I'm saying. Oh, I know saying. you do. Now, listen. Who um... calls it a drinky-winky? <laughs> So you're in, Reno, you're in Reno, you're drunk off your ass, and you fall off the stage. Well, basically, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what happened? You hurt your feet. Yeah, I was, uh, it was in pain. I had to hobble around. Oh. My ankles are swollen even now. No, that's a oh, nice image. Uh, what? <laughs> were you gambling in Reno? Were you a gambler? I gambled a little bit, but, you know, I'm kind of like a small-time loser game. Like, I gamble on the Wheel of Fortune. I'm on the Wheel of Fortune machine. I almost touched your leg. I'm on the Wheel of Fortune <laughs> machine. <laughs> That's when you know you're getting old, being like, I was on the Wheel of Fortune yeah, machine. Yeah, yeah. And nobody thinks it's gay. It's like, hey, listen, get me, uh, get a... Uh, some people think it's gay, yeah. No, <laughs> Don't speak for them. They know it's gay. No, uh, it's not gay. It's like so, so, avuncular. So the... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> like an uncle. Uh... Yeah, see? Harvard. That's what they learned. Uh, All right. I went to the Harvard Driving School. Uh, yes. But let's back it up. You, you were, you're at the yeah, Wheel of Fortune machine. I'm at the machine. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of for And then this lady comes up. It's me and some old bitty sitting there. And some lady some goes, do you guys want to join the, the players club? I said, what's your definition of a player? If you think me and her on the quarter slots, we can get into the players club. <laughs> so you, play you, you play with the small machines is what you're I'm saying. I'm small time. I'm, uh, yeah, but I also play, like, it's the only democracy left because you sit and play poker. And it's like you, some old lady, some college student on a trust fund, a biker and like a Lebanese arms dealer all sitting at the same <laughs> table. <laughs> it's the great coming together of humanity. Yes, it is. It really is. Now, um, I want to ask you about the Michael Jackson trial because you're someone who observes the human condition. Maybe you can help <sighs> us understand this. What's your take? Well, my take is this. First of all, the reason we're obsessed with him, I figured out, is because he is America. He started out as this beautiful thing when he was young. Then he got corrupted by too much. And now he's, uh, you know, sexually confused and racially divided. Right, right, right. <laughs> Very nice. He's like our country in a lot but of I'll ways. I'll tell you, if they ruined it. You saw what happened. The lawyers screwed up that case. If I was the lawyer, I would have brought in a, a cute kid lawyer, like a handsome kid. What? Like a young, handsome, like a young, like 12 year old kid. Right. Then when he was on the stand, when Michael Jackson was on the stand, he testified, right? Good. I okay. And, uh, yeah. I would have had him go like this, like in the middle, in front of the jury. They would strike it from the record, but right. it, just grab his head and go, hey, you like this? And oh, my God. <laughs> what the hell is that all about? Well, but think about it. His first reaction would be to open his mouth. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Then the jury... Yeah, no. I'm, I'm getting another guest in here. I'm calling no, the bullpen. No, no, way. Yeah, get us someone else Is in here right away. <laughs> they, <laughs> they come out. It's like a relief pitcher. They're coming out in a little baseball hat mobile right now. That's ridiculous. A red phone to get another guest. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, you're never coming back. It's uh, awful. But I'm saying, what if he went for it? Then the jury sees it. Aha, you know. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, but he didn't testify. Uh, <laughs> I would have made him. Can't they force you to testify in this country? Probably, yeah. I love the fact that, by the way, they're like, well, he just slept in bed with kids. I can't prove it. So that's legal in this country to sleep in bed with little kids? I think it is legal, yeah. That's sick. <laughs> what have you got in there? You didn't uh... do it. That's the same jungle juice that got me knocked off the stage in Reno. Is that true? Did I tell you about that? Yeah, yeah. You oh. told us that one already. That's <laughs> really true. Oh. Can I tell you about the time I I'm saw like, you with a few drinks? This is like I'm trapped on a bad bus ride. Uh, yeah, yeah, I heard you. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's out of his mind. Hey, why don't you guys bring us cups? <laughs> you gotta bring your own cup out of here. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Silly. Now, uh, 
Oh, my ankles. Your ankles are swollen, I hear. Yeah, but this is good. It stretches them. <laughs> now, oh. you're back from Iraq, I understand. Yes, is that I right? am. You've I go to Iraq, Iraq all the time now. You go there a lot. Uh, what are you going there for? <laughs> Can I house, house over there? <laughs> <laughs> I go there. To do... You have a house? <laughs> you have a little summer place yeah. over in Baghdad. That's nice. Yeah, P. Diddy got the hampers and I got <laughs> Mosul, baby. What's up? So, uh... Wave your hands in the air no, if you still oh, got them. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that as bad as the Abu Ghraib scandal? Oh, yeah, let's the talk about torture. that. torture. I thought when you torture somebody, you have to touch them. No? All right, I guess our country knows better. Right. Nobody got touched, but they were tortured. Folks, don't be brainwashed. Nobody was tortured in Abu Ghraib or Guantanamo Bay. You have to touch somebody to torture them. That's the rule. Really? <laughs> Nobody got touched. You mean like, it was it's just political correctness gone mad? You think they're getting too? They're, they we're being too correct about this. First whole of thing. all, here's what I hate about political correctness: is that you have to act like things don't affect you when they only human reactions. And I swear to you, this is true. I get on the plane, LaGuardia Airport, like a month ago. Yeah. The lady checking me is wearing like a Muslim head guard. And she's got a book, I swear on my mother's life, and we know, Irish mother. And, uh... Uh-huh. Yeah, that's a big thing, She's yeah. got the book, and it says, Islam and women and the Islamic law in fatwa, which right. is the death warrant. As right. you know, it's over there, it's like getting a parking This is what ticket. the woman's reading, and she's the one checking people in? She's checking me, and people are like, oh, you can't be offended by... Like, you have to pretend that doesn't bother you. Hey, if I see the pilot reading, like, uh... Elizabeth Kubler-Ross on Death and Dying, I get nervous, too. And if right. the stewardess is reading Sylvia Plath, I'm allowed to get nervous, and she's right, got right, the rosary right. beads. Right, right. But apparently I have to go, that's OK, it's all acceptable. Right, right. You think what, you think maybe our armed forces, or you, you think that the things are too politically correct? Is that I can't wait to see. Yeah, the, the soldiers over there have to be on their best behavior at all time. They have to, like, you know, they, if somebody barrels into a checkpoint, they have to say you're making me uncomfortable in a hostile work environment. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you have to give my coffee. <laughs> you yeah. see the, uh, yeah, they can't attack. They have to throw a copy of Dr. Phil's family first at him. The, uh, <laughs> fight with the Hollywood movies, because you know those politically correct idiots, but they're going to make movies about it, because even though they're anti-war, but they have to make movies to make sure, money yeah, off the yeah, war. Yeah. It's going to be like, Sarge, I spot the enemy over the hill. Whoa, so uh, Private, why would you say enemy? That's pretty pejorative. Can't you uh, <laughs> say people with a different viewpoint are over the hill? Oh, Sarge. <laughs> Maybe I need sensitivity training, Sarge. No, it's systemic. It's we have to look at the whole culture that we set up. We <laughs> using the term enemy. I've had it with this country. Yeah. Well, you're a good man. You're a good man to speak up like this. Thanks, fella. Very good man. It's Conan, actually. You've been here before. Uh... <laughs> Thanks, Mister. By the way, do you recognize this shirt, Conan, from your wardrobe? Because my shirt was so ugly, they made me take it off. That's my shirt. That is my shirt. <laughs> I'm, I'm not kidding. That's my shirt. <laughs> Well, you can't. You come out here. That's my shirt. What is this? I don't have that many nice shirts. And you're like, eh. You show up with a paper cup full of booze, and you're like, give me a shirt. <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> One of the I worst. Like we, oh, I felt man. like it was like my little brother. He's, That's uh, my uh, shirt. All right, they're sending someone in. Oh, they're getting right, another one in right now. Phone. I knew there was something going yeah, on here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, uh, I'm over here. Uh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, come on. I was trying to work the crowd. Got to get back in there. <laughs> uh, thanks Seriously, so much for coming by. You're you a good man. You want to come with you to NBC? All right, I'll do it. Yeah, you're with me the whole way. I don't understand what he just said. Please, if you know what he said. When you take over Leno, I'm going to come with you. I'll be oh, you're like coming a, with me? Oh. I'll be like Andy Richter. Oh, that'll be great. You sit right next Ladies to me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome tonight, Conan O'Brien. Yeah, that's a great, great <laughs> audition you had right there. <laughs> You're gonna hear from me soon. <laughs> oh, I get it. I'll tell my agent to expect a call. <laughs> yeah. So call you're on you're... the red call on the red phone. Where's your agent right now? Has that... oh, he's crying somewhere. All right. <laughs> uh, it doesn't get better than this. It really doesn't. Colin Go Quinn. Ahead, Colin. We are right back. Block party. You stick around. You stick around. Our thanks to Rudolph Giuliani for stopping by. Always good to see Rudy. I call him Rudy. Hey, big hand for Colin Quinn for stopping by. I thought he was hilarious. And our thanks to Block Party for being here. Stay tuned. 
Get to Max Weinberg, Max Weinberg 7. Stay tuned for last call with Garth and Dana. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>